All right, so this video is talking about uh, increasing, decreasing functions, uh, th but this, these graphs are uh, square root graphs and cube root graphs, so we'll go ahead and discuss these, and uh, again, it's sort of the same, same idea as absolute value increasing and decreasing. Uh, it's the same principles apply, uh, but we're also going to take a look at domain and range for these and uh, discuss a few other interesting topics. Okay, so we're going to do 7, 8, 9. We'll see how quickly we can get through them here. All right, so for number 7, okay, so taking a look at number 7, let's first talk about the domain. I'll just write DOM for domain, okay? So domain refers to the possible values that X can be. And basically we're noting if there's any restrictions or is there any place where I can't use X because normally that would be like if my denominator was going to be zero, I couldn't plug in that number. Or if it makes my square root negative, I can never have negative square roots in a real number system. But with this graph, to just, all you have to look at is the picture. Does it look like the graph is ever going to uh, stop going left to right? Because, again, as it continues going, it's going to keep going that way, and it's going to keep going this way, okay? So it's going to continue in either direction forever and ever and ever. So what that means is uh, it's going to, it starts out with the smallest number it can be is negative infinity, and it's going to go all the way to positive infinity. That's the d domain for this particular graph. Okay, and the range, the range talks about how, what's the smallest number could be on the y-axis and the lowest number's going to be on the, uh, the highest number's going to be on the y-axis. So we already talked about it going this way, okay, but as it continues to go to the left, it's also starting to go down. Now, it's really hard to see, like, and it's very, very gradual, but I mean, if, if I could just exaggerate here, it's going to keep going down this way, because yeah, it's going to head down. So that means that the range, it's actually the smallest it's going to be, will get to eventually negative infinity if we let it go on forever. Okay? Same thing as this side. It's going to keep going up, and it would just continue if I let it go. It won't go that sharp. I'm exaggerating. But it's, if, if you let it continue to go, it will reach positive infinity for the range. And this is actually true of all cubic functions. I mean, excuse me, uh, yeah, cubic functions, uh, uh, cube root functions. Uh, it's going to continue to go in either direction, both up and down, left and right, forever and ever. So, all right, so that is domain and range. Now let's talk about increasing and decreasing. So I'll just put I and D here. So increasing. So looking at this graph, we always read it left to right. Always look at it left to right. So going from left to right, do you see how it's gradually increasing? When it gets to zero, it goes up sharply, and then it tapers off and still goes up. So it's always increasing, right? It's always going upwards. So that means it started increasing at negative infinity way off the graph, but then it continued increasing even past it. So it's going to keep going upwards to positive infinity. So now let's talk about decreasing. So looking at this picture, does the graph ever start heading downwards, going left to right? No, it's always heading up. So there is no decrease. So that's not applicable or not available. Okay? And so, and again, for the most part, is the graph going up or down? It's going up because the graph is increasing. Okay? All right, let's take a look at number eight here. So this is a square root graph. The first one was an example of a cube root graph. This is a square root graph. All right, let's talk about number eight for domain. Now, this one's interesting because notice that, again, with the first one, it was going in both directions forever and ever. But with number eight, do you see that it just starts? You actually see where the graph starts. You, you actually see the point of which like, it originates, which is right. And again, whenever we talk about domain, it's the x value. It originates here at negative one. So with my domain, it starts at negative one. But as you can see, the graph it continues from negative 1 all the way, if we let it keep going, to positive infinity. We can include negative 1, but we can't include uh, infinity. Okay? So that one's weird because you can actually see the beginning. And remember, a lot of people would be tempted to put negative 2, but domain talks about the x values. Now let's talk about the range. Okay? So what's the smallest y value this graph can be? Okay? So it looks like the lowest it's going to be is right here at negative 2, 
That's the lowest it's ever going to be. From there, it's just going to get bigger and bigger. It's actually going to keep growing and growing. And again, if I can exaggerate the graph, it's going to keep going up and up and up like this if you let it keep going. So it's going to go up to positive infinity. We can include negative 2, but we can't include infinity. So that's domain and range for number 8. All right, let's go ahead and talk about increasing and decreasing. Okay, so again, this graph, uh, at, from its starting point, okay, well, I'll erase my little markings there. So my graph at its starting point starts at negative 1. And it's growing, right? It's increasing from negative 1 all the way into infinity. It's increasing. It's getting bigger or it's going upwards. So we can include negative 1. Can't include infinity. There we go. So is this graph ever going down? Is it ever decreasing? Okay, so we see the part where it increases and it's going to keep going. It won't change uh, the increase. So the decrease is not available or not applicable in this case. All right, and then let's go ahead and take a look at number 9 here. Ooh, this one's going to be good. Okay, let's take, talk about domain. So just like number seven, it's a cube root graph. Again, both directions going left and right forever and ever with no end. So that means my domain's going to be negative infinity to positive infinity with no restrictions. Okay, the range, same thing. Again, I explained in number seven. If I let it keep going, I'm exaggerating. It would keep going up, and this would keep going down. So it's going to go in both directions forever, up and down. So negative infinity to positive infinity. All right, let's talk about uh, increasing or decreasing. So reading this graph from left to right, look what the graph is doing. It's going down. It takes a sharp turn down there. It's uh, negative 5, and then it keeps going down. So does the graph, again, we always look at it going left to right. Does it ever increase? The answer is no. So that's not available or not applicable here. But decrease... Again, we can't see it on the graph, but it started way back at negative infinity. It started decreasing. And it's going to continue to decrease even past that turn. So it's going to decrease all the way to positive infinity. And with uh, cube root graphs as well as square root graphs, you will notice uh, that the domain will often mimic or uh, exactly, exactly be the same as the increase or the decrease. The domain will always copy the increase or the decrease. Actually, let's go back a slide here and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, So back here on this slide, take a look at number 7. So the increase was negative infinity to positive infinity, so is the domain. Take a look at number 8. Look at the in So the increase was from negative 1 to infinity, take a look at the domain, negative 1 to infinity. So, for square root graphs and cube root graphs, the pattern is, is that it will always copy the domain. Or, I mean, the increase, uh, the increase and decrease will always be the same as the domain. So, just be aware of those things. So, hope that helps, and uh, there you go.